My name's Aaron Parker. I'm a senior aquatic biologist with the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy. If you see material like this and you're concerned about it, uh, what you can do is email us at algaebloom at michigan.gov because we can tell oftentimes just by looking at a photo of this what it is that we're seeing. So this is a mixture of filamentous green algae and duckweed. A lot of times I get asked, you know, if this is blue-green algae or cyanobacteria. And an easy way to tell whether you have filamentous green algae, which is what this is, or cyanobacteria is to do what's often called the stick test, which literally means that if you can put a stick uh, at the end of a rake like I'm using or a boat paddle in the water and pick the material up like this, then it's going to be filamentous green algae. This material here, it is not capable of producing toxins. Um, and if you can see little stems coming off of the individual plants, uh, then you'll know that it's duckweed and not cyanobacteria. If you have something resembling this that just looks like spilled green paint, uh, forming a sheen on the water surface that you can just easily stir something through. This is what is going to be your blue-green algae slash cyanobacteria bloom. As you can see, when I went through that, I was not able to pick anything up. So the reason why cyanobacteria like this is concerning is because what separates it from your plants and your algae is that this material can produce toxins. There is no way to tell whether this is or is not producing toxins just by looking at it. The only way to know for sure is to have it tested at a lab. It's really important to keep any pets that you have, especially dogs, out of this material because what happens then when they consume it is the digestive system will digest the cell walls of this material and then release the toxins into the bloodstream and that's when it can get to the liver the brain and cause uh, serious illness or even death for an animal best course of action if you see something like this or even anything in the water that you're not sure about is to just stay out of it and avoid it um, there's a saying uh, when in doubt stay out because you just don't know unless it's tested so it's best to just assume that it is producing toxins